First of all, what is Hadoop? Well, we've already talked about what MapReduce is. And as it turns out, Hadoop is an Apache project that combines a MapReduce engine with a distributed file system called HDFS, the Hadoop Distributed File System. Again, these are open source implementations of Google's MapReduce and Google's file system, GFS. So that's really what Hadoop is about. Let's talk a little bit about HDFS itself. HDFS allows the local disks on each of the nodes in the Hadoop cluster to be pulled together as a single a single pool of storage. And the way that works is that the files that may exist on a, a given node are typically replicated on other nodes. And by default, there are two additional copies of each file made for a total of three copies. And that way, if a particular node fails, we won't lose data because that data is also stored on at least two other nodes by default. Files can't be updated in HDFS. In certain cases, they can be appended to, but they can't be rewritten. Now, if you think about the way MapReduce works, where you have an input file that you process and you generate an output file from it, and then that becomes the input file for the next step that produces another output file, if you think of that kind of assembly line process where uh, files aren't updated but are, are simply used to generate new files, then you see the immutability of files in HDFS is actually just fine. Now, Hadoop all by itself can be very useful. MapReduce jobs in Hadoop are programmed natively in Java. And so with just the combination of Java and Hadoop, you could do a lot. However, Hadoop is typically used in combination with other tools and technologies. And together, those make up what you might call the Hadoop stack. So let's review what's on that stack. And we'll start at the bottom of it with Hadoop itself. Again, that's providing MapReduce and file services to big data professionals. On top of Hadoop, though, we might use one or another uh, NoSQL database and a special category of NoSQL databases that we'll talk about in a little bit called Wide Column Stores, the two most pertinent of which are HBase and Cassandra. HBase can use HDFS to store its tables. Cassandra can use the HDFS-compatible Cassandra file system to store its tables. So as far as Hadoop is concerned, tables in these databases are just HDFS files. And because of that, data stored in these databases can be operated on uh, using MapReduce jobs in Hadoop. In point of fact, however, the databases can be used without Hadoop, and Hadoop can be used without the databases. Now, two other uh, pieces that very commonly appear with Hadoop are Hive and Pig. Now, what Hive and Pig do, although they do it in different ways, they both provide a kind of query language abstraction over MapReduce and over the Java code required to create MapReduce jobs. With Hive, you use a dialect of SQL called HiveQL. And with Pig, you use a more stepwise data transformation language called Pig Latin. In either case, though, the queries that you submit to these particular products eventually get compiled, in a way, to Java MapReduce code. But that way, users who want to do data analysis don't have to write the Java themselves. Another component that's often used in combination with Hadoop is something called SCOOP, which is an acronym for SQL to Hadoop. And SCOOP is really just an import-export framework for moving data between Hadoop and relational databases, typically data warehouse systems, as a matter of fact. And there are SCOOP connectors for most of the major data warehouse platforms at this point. We can also do machine learning, predictive analytics, uh, data mining on top, of, uh, on top of Hadoop. And we use another Apache project called Mahout to get that work done. And then finally, as sort of an ancillary uh, component, we have something called Flume. 
that is used really to deal with streaming data and merging that in to HDFS. Typically that streaming data might be log files and the word flume and log obviously have a, a little bit of a connection there. Uh, but flume can be more generally thought of as a way to process streaming data into HDFS. <laughs>